Good morning, y'all. Told you I was gonna keep it funky fresh. So here we are. It's 8.10. I've been trying to get out of the bed since 7.10. I keep having these dreams in between, but I can't get up. Yesterday I had two shows. Went to the gym in between. Luckily I didn't have cardio. So I got a little bit of rest, but I'm exhausted. And that's kind of how it goes. The last few weeks, everyone asked me how I was doing yesterday. I said, don't worry about me today. Ask how I'm doing tomorrow. These are the highs and lows of it all. So I'm going to get up, start my morning routine, and I've got to be out the door at about 11 o'clock to get to work. Here we go. All right, so walking the pup right now. Just realized my pants are on backwards, but... Welcome to the life. Um, contrary to popular opinion, I actually check my phone first thing in the morning. Some people ask me, what do I do in the morning? And I know people are really big on like, don't check your phone the first 30 minutes, the first hour. But how I best work is knowing that there's no fires for me to put out, no frogs to eat. I just can now have the time for myself. So a few seconds ago, Pepper threw up in the elevator. It's been a great morning so far, <laughs> but it's peak week. Happy peak week, first day. I'm super excited. The sun is out, the skin is popping. Some people have asked about the skincare routine. First of all, it's the water. Get your water game up. Second of all, I will post my very limited face regimen and products that I use. Um, because they say black don't cry, but as my girl Amber says, it does shift. So we always start off with our nice walk down the street. Uh, this is when I listen to worship music and I pray and I just thank God for all the blessings he's given me. I do not take one day for granted. Um, and I just ask him to give me the strength for another day. I have another two show day that my voice still be voicing. You hear right now is cracking. I got my little puberty going on this morning. Ooh, come on, the sun is sunning right now. Um, so as soon as I take him upstairs, I'm gonna go clean out that elevator because that's nasty. And then um, we're gonna do our check-ins, get ready. All right, so this is how we're doing the setup. We're doing a bootleg style today because we in a rush. Boom, boom, bam, bam. You can see me in the back, Sean's couture posing suit. You already know. Here we go. All right, so check-in is done. Just gonna submit it right now. I have 20 minutes and then I can breathe and restart the day. Here we go. All right, y'all. Probably on the treadmill. Today we're going to talk about reading the room. There's only you and one other person in the gym. And you have your headphones on. There's no reason for you to be talking to somebody that loud. I'm trying not to be that girl, but I'll be back. And I'm going to be that girl. All right, so we're on the last five minutes of cardio. As I mentioned earlier, gym etiquette, y'all. If you're gonna be on the phone, whatever, live your best life. But don't be so loud and so engaged that you're not even focusing on your cardio. And then don't try to out-cardio me because I'm here all day, baby. Anyway, uh, so after this, I'm gonna go have breakfast, which I'll talk about in a sec when I get upstairs. And then I'm gonna get ready for my show. I'm waiting for my coach to send a protocol so I know what I'm doing if I'm hitting the gym today, what we got going on start bringing down some of this inflammation my body is tired I'm also on a gallon and a half a day so y'all can imagine how many times I've had to go to the bathroom in the middle of my show all right y'all welcome to my kitchen so I was gonna take a shower but your girl was hungry so we can dive right into it uh, right now I'm on 186 grams of egg whites in the morning and one whole egg and about three carbs worth of veggies. Um, I've been on that for, I don't even remember the last time I didn't have this. <laughs> um, I love the consistency of it. It gives me one less thing to think about. Make it in under 10 minutes. I like to make poached eggs. So while I'm getting my veggies together, I'm going to heat up some water so that I can boil my egg. 
here's how it came out. All right, so my omelet became more of a burrito situation, but that's okay. And they go my little egg whites, and then this is me envisioning carbs in my future. All right, y'all, so I'm sitting in this traffic as usual, heading to work. This is my last two show day um, at two and eight o'clock, and then tomorrow, one o'clock, and then my show closes. And then I can officially focus on the peak week. Um, so as I said uh, on my Insta story today, I wanted to talk a bit about temptation and temporary satisfaction. Oof. So when I did the last show, the first mistake I made of many was on the first day they had donuts. And I said, you know what? I'll just have one early, get it out my system. All the donuts will be gone after. We'll move on. First of all, I was not supposed to be having donuts, period. So, but I told my coach, I was honest. That's another thing for all my competitors. Do not lie to your coach. They can see right through it. It's all, they can see the donut. He can see the frosting all up in my tummy area. So what ended up happening is by the end of the day, I had three and a half. And so once that sugar kicked in and the chemicals in my brain started to remember that feeling, it was so difficult every single day when I stepped into the theater, there'd be free food, free snacks. And I didn't do as well as I know I could have done. And sometimes it was really um, difficult because I felt like I had to have it. And I think that's what temporary satisfaction does, right? It feels like something you need to have, whether it's the job you want, whether it's a person you want to be with, you just feel like in this moment, this is what I need. And though that may feel true to you, really have to differentiate between what you want and what you need and what you really envision for yourself in the future. So a lot of times I talk about what my excellence requires. So for me, my excellence requires usually three to four bags a day. My food bag, my workout bag, my everyday bag, and my bag for things for work. And I used to really get um, defensive or felt like I had to explain myself because people used to call me the bag lady and this, this, and that. But now I just say, this is what my excellence requires. It may not be what yours does, but it is what mine does. So for this show, I even kind of fell back on this for a second. And then I was like, no, honor it. I was like, when I go to do this next show, I am not going to have one single treat, one single free meal that they give out because it's not on my plan. I don't care how healthy it looks. And I stuck to that because I told myself that the day that I get a leading role, which was one of my goals for this year, because my identity is I am a leading lady, that if I become a lead, I want to be a lead in all aspects of my life, in all aspects of the rehearsal process. And so I held myself accountable by letting everyone know day one in my fun facts that I'm a bodybuilder and that my show was the week after we closed. And so that invited people in and they started holding me accountable and they started just making sure like, hey, how's it going? They ask me questions, they keep me motivated. And I have on everything I love, I have not had one thing. And the greatest part is I don't desire it because I don't even remember what it tastes like to be tempted. And so the issue with temporary satisfaction is that it always gets in the way of the long-term goal. So in one of my favorite books, The One Thing, he talks about hyperbolic discounting. And it's this idea of you see the mountain so far away, one of the reasons I love LA, you see the mountain, right? And it looks so small, so far away. And so on your way toward that mountain, toward that goal, all of these temporary satisfactions are going to creep in, especially the closer you get to it and the more diligent you are. That's when the tests really come in. And so you have to really get your armor right, your mental, physical, spiritual armor right for when those temporary, temporary satisfactions come in and try to knock you off your game. Because so many people praised me for my show last year 
And I'm looking at that look now like, whoa, I blew that look out the water five weeks ago. That also means there was five, a combination of five weeks worth of days where I did not live in my best excellence last year. Now, granted, I had put on more muscle. Obviously, other things came in, but everything people saw on stage was a combination of all the right choices I made and all the poor choices I made. And I could, to a point, remember more poor choices than good. More clean, I couldn't remember more non-clean weeks than clean. So this time I said, no, I, I want to set the standard in all areas. And so that's helped me out everywhere. I'm not seeking validation from friendships for the temporary satisfaction of being wanted, being needed, being accepted. I walk into a room already accepting myself so you can either get on board or keep it moving. And so today, as I get into peak week day one, energies at like a six, I had a very productive morning, as I mentioned, minus Pepper getting sick. Um, I took an hour away from my phone. I cleaned out my second closet. I went through some old uh, sentiments, old cards from Bay, like all these things that just got me feeling all googly inside. And I'm choosing to let this be the best week, week yet. And so now I'm heading to work. I'm going to do my show. I'm going to go run some errands. I'm going to hit the gym. I'll do my second show, come home, rest, and we'll head into day two. So I'll chat with y'all from the dressing room. Yeah. All right, y'all. This is Cedric Setti. Well, this is the snack table I referred to to y'all. These are the bagels, which would be stage right. Then we have the donuts, followed by cookies upstage, brownies mid center, lace chips. These are short chips. Me and cotton candy. Cotton yeah. candy, followed by the. The cookies that Aurelia made us break down one at a time. I sure did, so let me know how it tastes. <laughs> All right, y'all, so this is the theater, and this is the dugout. This is where I jump. If you haven't seen the video, get into it. This is where I jump. And I jump and get caught by these lovely human beings. They taking care of my skin and bones. Appreciate them. All right, welcome to my dressing room. So quick intermission because one of my castmates just said something and it sparked a conversation. I really do need to get a podcast. I know, I know, 2023. Um, they said uh, we had did an event and they had sent me the content from when I said something at the event. And they were like, oh, did you look at it yet? And I said, no, I hadn't looked at it because... That's my girl, Terry. Hi. I'm making a little vlog from my bodybuilding oh. uh, peak week. But I was just telling them a little story. Feel free to listen in. So one of my castmates said um, if I had looked at the content from when I spoke the other day at the kids event. And no, I haven't. And so they were like, well, if you post every day, you know, it'll help build your followers. And my instant response was, you know, I focus a lot less on gaining followers and I focus more on where I'm leading them to and in order for me to really lead my followers anywhere I have to be present and so I want to be present in these last two days of the show I don't want to already be thinking about you know inspiring that word like I need to be present as present as possible and in order to do that I can't be thinking about posting and so it made me think too about how sometimes I always think like, oh, I might not have that many followers because I do so many different things. It brings, you know, different people to the page. Some people may not like everything that I do. But then I realize I don't care. So I just want to encourage you today to not just be posting the post if that's what you're doing. Um, it's about impact, right? Over intent. And, you know, I like to post when I really have something to say. If I don't have anything to say... Or I feel like that's not the moment and I'd rather be present with the people that I love and the people that I'm around, I'm going to do that. So I just wanted to share that because social media will get you, right? And it'll have you thinking it's so much more important than it is. Be present because this is the only moment that actually exists. All right, so now we'll be in the face. Um, I'm giving a matinee face, which means light lashes because I got to go to the gym after. So I'm not trying to throw on the demi with feet. So we're just going to do something nice and light, if I can find them. Oh, yeah, here. 
Um, so some of y'all asked, requested the real nitty gritty. So I'm gonna keep it a buck with y'all. Um, this morning, I was not happy with my check-in. I honestly did not even wanna send it. Um, so I had to send in yesterday's and today's back to back, you know, put the pictures together. And I didn't even have to put them together to know like, oh, yesterday I was looking better. And I honestly did not want to send it. But, you know, so I'm trying to get this lash off. I hate pulling these things off. Um, these are the moments where you can start getting in your own head and being like, dang, am I, am I good enough? Am I competitive enough? Can I do this? Like. When your goal is to beat your package and you already do that, then you kind of feel like, okay, I got to take it up, but am I ready? So um, I'm waiting for my coach to get back to me. Um, we talked earlier, but I want to get his feedback on the photos and just not like try to be my own critic or like be my own coach. That's not my job. I pay somebody to do that. But honestly, this morning I was not feeling it, but I'll post the pictures here anyway, because Fuck it, why not? Um, hopefully it inspires somebody else who doesn't want to send in their check-ins to send them in. All right, let's see how the beat went. Okay, how did I do? All right, it's showtime. I'll see y'all at the gym. Okay, y'all, I looked at my videos and my photos again, and it was not that bad. That's called prep goggles. Don't trust them. Don't trust them. Mm -mm. All right, y'all, we are off to the gym. How ridiculous are these sunglasses? They're like the ones you keep in the car that you're like, I'm never gonna wear these outside. And yet here I am. Got the fit on. Um, I'm supposed to park my car way back over there. I'm a rebel without a cause. Oh, I guess that is my cause. I got to get to the gym. I can't be walking that far. All right, we're going to the fitness of planet. It's a leg day. And just to expand a little bit on what I was talking about earlier, when I got frustrated about my pictures this morning, I had to remind myself, and I have to remind myself often, like you can only be where you're at. Part of our frustration is trying to be somewhere else than where we are. And just because you accept where you are doesn't mean you don't want to grow or be in another place or in a better place but you can only be where your feet are planted and I think this morning I didn't feel as tight as I did yesterday and to me I didn't look as tight so I got into like full judgment mode and I was like wait a minute they haven't hired me to be a judge for the show they haven't hired me to be a judge for the show. So, who am I? How am I qualified to say what I look like? So, another reminder for today and moving forward, just be where you're at. And that's what I love about meditation because meditation makes you focus on releasing what has been, releasing what you think will be, and just being where you are because that's the only place that actually exists right now. My coach just sent me the nicest check-in email. I'm blushing even though I have on blush. I'll talk about this more in a second. Let me get through this workout. y'all i officially just got my peak week protocol he has cut of course artificial sweeteners starting tomorrow so y'all know what's about to go down Hello, what can I get started for you? hi may i please have a mint majesty venti hot tea welcome, welcome back to the dressing room cute little full-length mirror so the best part about only sharing 
a dressing room with one person is you get your own bathroom. So, you know, I just came from the gym. I ain't trying to do nobody dirty. So let's get clean. Uh, 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 uh. That concludes the day, finishing up the show. Then I am heading home to get some rest and figure out this protocol for tomorrow for the rest of the week. Thanks for watching. Please feel free to share. Don't forget to subscribe.